Hi guys, I'm back with another video today. So today's video is a request video by Spectrum. No, not the cable company Spectrum. Uh, a YouTube fan of my, mine, a subscriber, Spectrum. Now Spectrum has requested me to rank all the NXT championships. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is a ranking of the NXT championships. This is just my opinion. People have other opinions. So don't get angry at me if you don't like my ranking of the NXT championships. Now, Spectrum, I got a question for you. Do you want me to do an explanation why I like the championships or should I just like rank them and if you watch this video please post a please post a comment during the video and uh yeah if you want me to go into an explanation of the championship belts but if you don't want to uh that's okay but I'm gonna add in the explanations anyway if you do ask. So I'm going to put them in. So my number one. NXT champ. Number one. The NXT championship. The reason why the NXT championship. Is number one for me. Uh, I think it's the best title. In NXT. No doubt about it. There has been a lot of great people. And a lot of big stars. That have held this championship. So Yeah. Number two, the NXT North American Championship. Now, this is a recently new title. Uh, it came out in 2018, but it's already in the two year the two year long history of this title. It has jumped pretty quickly to a good mid card title. Number three, the NXT Women's Championship. Now, I do like this one, and there has lot, been a lot of great champions, and that's why it's number three. Number four, the NXT Tag Team Champions uh, ship. Uh, you know, a lot of WWE doesn't really consider the Tag Team Championships as a real title, but they're doing a job, good job with the NXT Tag Team Championships. And I hope they keep it up. I like the champions of Breezango. They're finally giving them a chance. Uh, number five, the NXT UK Cruiser... Er, the, NX, the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Uh, why is this number five? Well, honestly, I think um, NXT Cruiserweight Championship is really an underrated title. They don't really use it much as they're opposed to, and that's why it's number five. Uh, the NXT United Kingdom Championship. Now, I actually do like this title, but same thing with the North American Championship. It doesn't have a very long history. And there's only been two champions. And that's why I don't really like that title that much. Uh, the next uh, the next one is the NXT Women's... The NXT UK Women's Championship. Uh, so, I, so I think Kylie Lee Ray is a good NXT... UK champion, but that's the only champion I know that's holding the belt. I don't know the other champions because I seriously don't watch much NXT UK unless if some of those wrestlers come over to NXT, then I know who they are. But, you know, that's why it's a solid seventh for me. Uh, number eight and the last one is the NXT UK Tag Team Championships. Uh, I think they're the worst belt on NXT. It's not due to their design or anything. It's just I don't watch enough of NXT UK. 
you guys should probably say, why don't you watch NXT UK and the WWE Network? Well, why? Because I really don't care about NXT UK. Um, if they brought it to TV, like if they did NXT UK on Thursdays on the USA Network, I probably would watch it. It was the same thing for me with NXT too. I didn't start watching NXT until it came to TV last until last year. So, you know, uh, Spectrum, I hope you like this video. I know you're subscribed. I hope you like my ra ranking of the NXT championships. And if you guys like this video, what did you think of my opinions of the rankings of the NXT championships? And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.